Hello everybody! Be sure to check out part one of this tree series where I took this beautiful canvas and painted this modeling paste and crackle paste over it and got this gorgeous result. That was the first day and then the second day, two days later, it really crackled and I really like that effect right there. It kind of reminds me of a giraffe. It would make a great giraffe if someone knows how to draw a giraffe. So this is a commissioned piece and that pour was not mine. My client made that beautiful canvas and asked me to do a tree on it because I saw a tree and you can see all of that in part one. Be sure to check that video out. So I basically have never done this before, um, but I did look at a few tutorials that said I should start with a wash. And the client wanted a white tree, but honestly, there needed to be some depth um, for me to be happy. And also I needed to kind of cover up some of the green that was popping through. So I wanted to give it a little bit of, um, you know, texture and depth and play around with colors a little bit and also try to, you know, bring in some of the golds that's and yellow, you know, that's in the painting into the trunk of the tree. But my goal for this tree was like a very magical, mysterious, happy looking, you know, shimmering tree and um, mostly white but so this is just kind of like an underlayer. I'm not very fast at this and I must have cut out I swear like three hours of video but I hope I left in enough to give you an idea of what I did and um, for you to stay interested in the process. I didn't really know how to even edit this video because it was so much little detail work and not quite as fascinating as some of the <laughs> artists that I know but you know this is all part of showing a beginner learning and I'm glad that you guys came on this journey with me to learn. I love this client. She is an angel to me constantly pushing me to grow giving me uh, tasks, <laughs> I guess, and assignments um, of paintings that she wants. And they always make me a better artist at the end. I feel myself getting emotional. I really appreciate her. So, anyway. Ugh, I hate it when I get emotional, but, you know. Don't you have some people in your life where you just feel like they're little, like, angels? She's de definitely an angel for me, so. Um. Oh, this reminds me, actually, a comment that was made on part one. Um, someone said, you know, be careful of the crackle paste flaking off. And I will let you know that I used that towel over and over and over to wipe off and dampen, uh, to mop up paint on the crackle paste and not a single fleck flaked off. The kind that I used was the Chroma, um, but the Golden is kind of like that too. It's almost like a rubber and there is no way <laughs> that it was coming off. I mean, it, it is stuck on that canvas and it's very well adhered. So you don't have to worry about that at all. At least I didn't w with this project. So I'm probably not going to talk all the way through this one. Uh, I'm going to pop in and say a few things when I see something important. But I'm just going to let you sit and watch. And I really appreciate you coming on this journey with me and learning with me and, and encouraging me to do new things and um, I really appreciate all of you. This was Pearl. I wanted the tree to look very magical 
and mystical. That was my goal for this tree. So on the modeling paste, I painted the iridescent golden pearl, and I wanted to make it very shimmering and um, kind of magical looking. So that was my goal for this part. Anyway, I'm going to let you watch for a bit, and I will be back. is looking beautiful and haunting and mysterious and all the things that I hoped for for my client but I decide to add a little bit of this gold sparkle bling it powder because I'm addicted to it right now what I do want to say is I don't know if this is the proper use at all of this pigment so do it at your own risk um, and wear a mask because it's really fine and it was in my hair it was in my eyes um, the results though <laughs> look at how beautiful the results are I wanted to take it under the light isn't that pretty I love the look of that trunk it's so magical looking to me I just think it's gorgeous it's so rich and see all the undertones, all the sparkle. So I love the way that turned out, <clears throat> but just know that gold dust is going to go everywhere. So um, the next thing I wanted to focus on was the leaves. So I took some of the soft gel gloss with a, text, a test canvas. And I just tried out to see what it was going to look like. So I took some of the gold sparkle bling it and that was the results. That kind of translucent look. And then I took some of the iridescent pearl fine and mixed it and I got that result. And then I decided I'm going to pull out the Arteza mica powder that they had sent me. This is such a gorgeous set and you get 60 in the set in that little plastic spoon and there's so many amazing colors to this set it's cosmetic grade those of you who are into cosmetics I don't know but I will say I did try it in some paint and found that it just kind of disappears so it doesn't act the same as um, this you know some of the other um, sparkly mica powders that I've used but they are absolutely gorgeous so I'm gonna try to show you what this looks like in here it's hard to show on camera but really stunning sparkle and gorgeous and so I decided I'm gonna mix it with some of that soft gel because that soft gel is translucent and I think it's gonna really ref glossy. It's gonna really reflect all of that and not just disappear. So I decided to take some of that and I mix it with that gel and that's the color that I got. So this is the golden soft gel if you're interested. There you can see which palette knife I'm also using, both of which that are available at my Amazon shop if you like. 
Now I just took some of the gel and some of the powder and I just did a little mix up job. And it was pretty easy and dissolvable. And since I tested on a test canvas, I was pretty sure I knew what the results were gonna be. That is one thing you should do if you're nervous. Um, that's the gold sparkle. That's the other one I decided to use. If you're nervous about doing something, just pull out a little test canvas and try it out. Try out the technique or whatever and see. You know, that way you can feel safer trying it on a bigger piece or like a commission piece like this. Um, now this is funny. <laughs> I want to share with you. I laid all of these down and then realized that I didn't like the direction that the swoop, swoosh thing was. I didn't like the direction that they were laying. So I picked them all back up. And I changed the translucent part to face the branch see so see how much of a difference that made i'm so glad that i took the time to pick up and erase <laughs> what i had done and start over because it really did change the look of it this tree is so happy it has such a beautiful happy little vibe to it and I know that when all those dry, they're going to be a little bit more translucent. And then I added the other color, just for some contrast. One of the main goals I had of this commission was to make sure that the underpainting, the actual pour, has a chance to also be a star. So that's why I didn't do too many of those leaves, but one thing I wanted to do was bring in some of the gold. So you keep the brush flat, dip your brush lightly and wipe the excess off, and then just go over the very, very, very top of the modeling paste or you know whatever the highlights are this I think is called gilding and <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because this I'm just off the top of my head but basically what it's doing is just bringing out the highlights the raised portion the raised area of the modeling paste and the crackle paste and here's a good look trying to show you all of the beautiful parts here it's hard to show I can't really capture how shimmering and how bright and um, beautiful this tree is it's you know, you, you have those paintings sometimes, they're just hard to take good pictures of, and this one is definitely a challenge. It looks good under my special light in my kitchen, but it's so pretty. It's very happy and bright, and then here it is dried. Of course, the trunk looks almost exactly the same. That dried really quickly. And those are the leaves. They got a little bit more transparent. I'm really happy and pleased with the way this turned out. And it was a fun project. It took a long, long time for me. Like I said, I might be faster if I was, you know, more facile at this technique, but it was really fun. I was really excited to do it. And the client is happy and that's all that matters. So. Thanks so much for coming along with me on this painting journey, and till next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.